a couple of days ago, I did a podcast where I asked for responses to this question. You know what to do. You know what to eat. You know that going to class regularly not only builds strength and flexibility, but it's big fun. And yet you don't do it consistently. Why is that? What do you need to get onto your plan and follow it for life? I ask that question because we want to help you. We want to develop programs that are going to work for you. In the midst of the responses, I've got this one from Kathy Wigatoff. And with her permission, I'm going to read it to you today because I think it could help all of us. In it, she reveals an aha moment she had as she listened to this week's podcast. Here is her response. Seriously. Your question is difficult to wrap the mind's thought process around. There's a lot involved. It's easiest to just say this or say that or rationalize it from any angle you can think of. We already do that. That is what you hear everyone say, listing their goals and compelling reasons that all sound so good. Yeah. All sounds so doable. But the true answer to initiate motivation is connected to a person's overall state of their mental health. Kim's raw truth is enlightening to me. She touched on something that resonates heavily to me and likely to everyone who truly listened to her heartfelt mental anguish. And that was you don't have to be ready to start. I just realized that starting a program has its own mental connotation and blocks that often end up self-defeating for many folks. For example, if you start and don't finish or start and don't fully achieve the outcome you set in your goals or don't accomplish what you thought you could, this consciously or more often unconsciously becomes something in your mind that affects your overall mental health and keeps you stuck from starting and trying too many times. That is human nature. We don't want to keep on failing or falling short. So we rationalize. Yeah, we're doing pretty okay the way we are. We're not doing too bad. It could be worse. So we don't need to add the mental angst and stress of starting again, only to have questionable outcomes that don't meet our expectations, the goals we imposed on ourselves. However, a juxtaposition here. Goals are super important and very valuable. But maybe those goals don't offer the true daily motivation to keep us on track long term. The goal dangling out there may be enough for some people, but not for average folks like me. Maybe it's actually the start or end connected with it. As Kim says, just do something. We would work with our mind to encourage and create a positive mental health outcome that brings us to a healthier state on all levels, holistically. Just doing may be the true motivational piece that is needed and missing to keep us going. Just do. Then see what moves me to do next to continue on. Adjust as necessary. Repeat. Success will follow. Goals achieved. Nike got it right, didn't they, years ago? Just do it. Right on, Kathy, and very well said. So the bottom line is she's absolutely right. Just do it. Something is better than nothing. Today is the day to make it happen. Will you take that first step with us today? I'm totally in. Peggy's totally in. Kim's totally in. Kathy's totally in. Join us. Move well. Stay healthy. Be happy, live with passion, find a purpose in your life.